listen, our goal today, if we have one, is to hunt something down. I don't care what it is. Let's stray away from the moose. Last time, it was a little difficult, but I want to get here. Over here, should be some bears. Now, let me just start by... You know, oh. I spotted some tracks earlier. Wait Close a minute. To where you're at right now. I'll send the coordinates. This guy telling me about tracks and stuff. I don't need to hear that. Do it on my own. But I need ammo. Didn't realize how little ammo I had. I didn't think I'd ever get to that point. Think it's in here? I don't really know. Ammo, rifle ammo. Um, and I have. Wait. Okay. Hold up. I may be stupid, but I think I can figure this out. Free. Oh. Free. Free? 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 Sure. Hang on, Emma. <sighs> Damn. These aren't free. That's a shame. Whatever. Why do I care? Buy that. Let's buy one of these. Cool. Good thing rifle ammo is free. I'm not entirely sure if I care about the pistol ammo and stuff. Maybe shotgun, but a pistol I only used once and I was on like a, a moose that was charging me. So I had to put him down. Realistically, I put his whole squad down, but hey, <laughs> that's what happens when you mess with uh, a real gamer. Look at that. Ah, getting sidetracked. Let's make our way. Oof, that looks tempting. But like I said, we need to get to the bridge. I think this bridge looks familiar. Very familiar, actually. Some say don't run. You think I'm going to walk there? Yeah. No, thank you. I do have a story for for today. Of course, it's going to it's going to pertain to kitchen work. This one's a little bit more Hmm, how should I say it? Um gruesome, I suppose. So if you're not fond of that stuff, that is a nice, like, landscape look right there. Yeah, if you're not fond of kind of some detailed things, this is, this isn't going to be for you. Hmm. This is just my experience in a restaurant with a certain type of animal um, that we had. By had, I mean it was around us, right? So, let my guy breathe in. <sighs> okay. Nice. Now I can run. It's really as easy as that. Body and soul connected within this game. Um, where do I start? I can't quite remember the first instance this has happened. Um, but I, I think it just happened and I just noticed, you know, I, I'm not entirely sure, uh, if I had a, a, a visceral reaction or any type of reaction because I'm not one to freak out about things. So everything doesn't really seem that big of a deal to me, which could be a flaw. Oh, this is the, um... This is the bridge uh, I think PewDiePie was on. Okay, I remember it now. But uh, everything seems so, whatever, normal for me. Even though it's technically not. But let me explain the situation, because I keep not. I'm um, going to work one day, and I believe, I say I was a dishwasher, but to be honest, I did, I did almost everything. Not like in terms of, oh, I did everything, but just like, Every job I did. Um, I just 
you just had to pull your weight and it was just, that, just crazy work stuff that you had to do um dishes take food out to customers expedite things oh no way and uh every other thing you can do in a restaurant prepping all that good stuff so which doesn't sound like anything but yeah, trust me when you're getting paid what i was getting paid i was doing way too much look at that you can get them um it's a possibility i would have to Okay, hold on. Let's map this out. I didn't think I'd find anything this early, so let's, uh... Dude, how do I... Okay. So we need to cross here, but we have... white tail deer here. So we'll place a waypoint here. And they're going to run somewhere in here. So we need to... Maneuver our way around. Now, I don't think they can hear us from this distance, otherwise I'm just going to give up. That's insane. I don't think they can see me. Can they? Is that really that 200 meters? Nah. No. Just not a thing that's going to happen. Alright, now I'm in tracking mode. We'll take this slow. So, go in. Normal day. Start doing dishes because as soon as they get in, a dish station is piled with stuff they prepped with and before I got in. and I'm the only one who does dishes, so... You can only imagine. I have pictures. Uh, maybe I'll show them, but I don't want to give away the restaurant's um, position or any type of info like that just because, you know, certain reasons. I don't want things falling back on me. And doing the dishes, and I just basically walk. We have these kitchen sinks. We. Uh, kitchen sinks that are just deep. And just like the last story I told about a raccoon in the Kikumi bucket, a little soy sauce bucket we had, this one has the same bucket. We have multiple of them. So this time, the animal we had around, quite plentiful, was the um, soft-shelled turtle. It's just, it's just so funny saying that, soft-shelled turtle. Little, little dudes. Um, it's cause there's like a pond and stuff nearby and they, they also just kind of are just roam about to be honest with you and get caught. So they caught these turtles and they would, um, whoop, jump. Hopefully that didn't spook them and they would, uh, grab them. And the first step was to get that tap to boiling and then put as many as you can in the uh, the bucket. All right. And then obviously they'll try to push out of the lid because nobody wants to be in a bucket full of hot boiling water. But uh, I'm assuming I can only assume this was to weaken them. Um, so they'll do that. Boiling water, weaken them up, and then after that's done, take the lid off and take it out of the bucket one by one um, and when I say one by one I mean they do actions first so what they do is they'll take the turtle out while the others are in the bucket and they can't really move they're too weak too it's not a good shot I need to get closer shoot I'm wide out in the open be smart about this man be smart about this but uh, what they'll do is they'll take it and think of a, I'm not sure if you guys know what a soft shell turtle is. It's just think of a turtle with a thinner soft shell. Um, it'll be facing kind of you. And they'll take a, basically just a knife. They'll take a knife and kind of where the shell meets the uh, kind of the skin, I guess. The uh, upper back of the turtle. They'll just cut it into, just basically just cut it. Uh, into a circle pattern, like the shell, basically. Um, I would say, uh, what's the best thing that we can uh, refer it to? Uh, oh, um, got it, scalping. Kind of like that, but for your back, if you had a shell. So they'll scalp the uh, shell off the turtle while it's alive, and then um, 
it'll obviously move around and stuff. It was quite a visceral scene, to say the least. Oh, he's looking towards me. No, he's not. Okay. And... And the other ones in the bucket kind of react because they're watching it happen. So they kind of figured it was going to happen. So they kind of move around a little bit more. They get a little anxious and move. Um, while this one's being basically ripped open and the shell essentially torn off. Um, I believe then they take off the legs. I can't remember entirely. But I know for a fact they remove, remove the shell. And then they do this for every single turtle in this, uh, in this bucket. Okay, let's take a good look. Okay, this is actually not a bad shot, but I'm not a good shot, period. So, let's just try to get closer, I guess. And, oh, bro, look, we're playing Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. Ghillie suit. And then, after that's done, they will essentially just make a uh, troll soup. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't mean to press space bar. Um, and then one day I did try this uh, troll soup. I don't know if they told me it was turtle soup. I think they just gave it to me because that's just something they do. They just kind of give me stuff to see how I react. But little do they know, I'm quite open-minded to um, food. You're not going to catch me hating a lot of foods. I'll, I'll try a lot as long as it's good. No way. I did not just spook them. Okay, good. Okay. And the first uh, first taste, it was, uh, I mean, it was, the flavor was good, but it, it's just a stickier type of um, soup, I guess. So it was very gamey. Wasn't the best. I didn't really finish it. I think I just took a bite and they took it away because they wanted it. So that was, um, that was a more gruesome story. So... Always enjoyed telling that to, uh, <laughs> or telling some of these stories to my coworkers at the uh, other job. They're always surprised, and because it's not something a lot of people will experience or will want to experience. But as bad as it may seem, at least I have a story out of it. Why is this one way over there? Okay, we gotta. I'm going to try to get them facing us. Okay. And then we hit them with this. Uh, hit them with this. We want it to face us and we want to take a kind of like a heart shot. Shooting here, I might hit their um, arm and I don't want that. I want like a lower shot kind of to the bottom of the chest. Okay. But it's a little tough because... Uh, they're not facing me. Okay, hey, let's do this. Perfect. Hmm. I say perfect, but it looks like that didn't, do, that didn't do a thing. Damn. I don't know the radius they can see me at, but... They are... What are the chances they're all facing away from me, man? Damn, look at all these. Imagine if you had a Barrett 50 caliber. You could just down one by one. New DLC out. You know what they should make? They should make a... Uh, animal vs. Hunter type one, you know? Where they fight. They straight up just... Run at you and you can just like fight them. Like a survival game. But animals and deer just kind of attack you. Okay. We're close enough to try this again. Hit them with the... Good, 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 good. There's movement. There's movement. Movement's good. We want the one with the, the antlers. Shoot. Okay, he's getting close. He's getting close. Think. Think, 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 think. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm shaking my damn thing. Alright, we had to hit it at least twice. I know that for a fact. Two shots. 
Now the question is, come on, why is my guy walking? Oh, it's just natural. I'm stupid. Okay, yo, oh, I thought that was all blood. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. We made it to our waypoint. Look at that. You know, things just work out in our favor a little bit, at least. Come on, I know. I know he's not making it. Alright, I hate to be the one to tell you. Like I said, this was actually a very good way for me. I wanted the one with the, um, the antlers, but you can't have what you can't get. Let's see what we got here. Look at this. Maybe my best shot. Look at this. Right lung flesh. Um, oh, is this how they were stanced when I hit them? I'm not entirely sure. Whatever. Let's take a look. Ah, damn. That's a vital organ, yeah. So that was the main shot. I was trying to hit kind of here. But, uh... Clearly did not. But... That did 95 of the damage. So, what I'll do for these dudes is I'll try to aim there. Um, and kind of do it. So cash is 586. 74%. That was quick kill, 94 XP. What happens? Okay. Should I just do this? What does this do? Does anybody have a clue? Because I, I don't. If I do this, is it just going to take away 2,000? I think so. And it's going to be like a trophy. So we're not doing that. Let's just accept a kill. Oh, we leveled up. You know what that means? Extra perks. And those extra perks will get me where I need to be. Beautiful. Let's take a look over here. If there's no deer, we won't go for him. And I'll tell another story about the great old kitchen I used to work at. Beautiful. There's none. Of course, why would there be? I literally just shot. But at least we know there's some out there. Which I'll take. Alright, guys. Until the next one. Uh, I've got plenty of stories uh, about this. That was the, uh, you'd have to see it to believe it type thing, you know? But there's definitely more to be shared. Maybe we'll hunt a goose next run. Why not, huh?